Hi everyone, it's your fairy card maker Lisa here, and in this video I'm showing you how I made an alcohol inked background for a shadow box birthday card. Now, alcohol ink likes a non-porous surface, that's why Upo paper works so well, but Upo paper isn't actually paper, it's plastic, so I don't like to use that. I prefer paper. So what I do is turn my paper into a non-porous surface using something like gilding polish, which is what I used here, and I've also successfully used uh, Nouveau embellishment mousses as well. I'm also using some isopropyl alcohol from the pharmacy to get my alcohol ink to move around. You can use anything that's a high concentration, mine is 99%, but I've heard people say something upwards of 70% would work, or 90% is probably where I would like to go as the lowest. Now I also have some official alcohol blending solution with me here because you need that for the alcohol alloys. The official stuff has a resin in it which acts as a binder and if you don't use that with the alloys then they'll just flake off. So for colors I'm using Sailboat Blue and Aquamarine. Those are the only two blues that I have and the Aquamarine is actually more of a green blue. Lastly, I have my marker spritzer that I use as a blower to move the ink around. I have a better blower on order, but I've been using this till now and it's okay. So now I'm just adding some isopropyl alcohol to the paper and then you add ink and just play. I'm gonna speed this part up so you can sit back and watch the ink flow. If you would like to jump ahead to the end of this part, you can jump to roughly five and a half minutes into this video. One of the benefits of using this Pearl Luster Gilding Polish or the Platinum Nouveau Mousse is that you have this sheen underneath the actual alcohol inks, so it kind of looks like I'm using alcohol pearl inks when I'm not. So I've shaken up the alloy bottle, you have to shake it really well to remix it, and then I started to add it to my project and I was hoping for that veining look, that sort of marbled metallic veining but I didn't get it, and I don't know if it's because I didn't use enough blending solution or what, but that's something I need to work on. Also, as you can see, I started with the isopropyl alcohol instead of the blending solution, but then I went back in and used the blending solution later to make sure I had that binder in there.
Now I let this piece dry for a bit while I did some stamping and then I decided to add some foil. I bought a mixed amount of foil that was designed for the foil quill and I decided to just try it out and put it through my die cut machine so the pressure is what I was hoping would make the foil stick to any parts of my background that was still a little bit sticky with ink. And it didn't really work. I guess I waited too long or let it dry too long. There was only one tiny little patch that actually retained any foil. So the idea for my card came from the wonderful Jennifer McGuire. She made a card using a specific die and I thought, you know what, I have a die that is shaped like that and I can figure out my own score lines and my own measurements to make it fit in whatever envelopes that I want. So I'm showing you here my AccuCut Craft die. It's a pennant die and I showed you the little template that I made there and I will give a link to Jennifer McGuire's video on the screen. Okay, I ran the paper through my die cut machine and this is my shape. And then I followed my template, did my trimming and made my score lines. As I mentioned, I did my stamping earlier and I used a set by Hello Bluebird called Flying High and the matching die. I don't usually buy the matching die, but this one cuts out the inside of the hot air balloon around those skinny lines, so that's why I bought it this time. And here's my finished card. I colored my images with Copic markers and I used a Creative Expressions stitched cloud border die to create the clouds in the sky. And for this card, I used my pennant die to cut another piece out of white and trimmed it to fit the back, and that's where I'll write my sentiment. And as you saw, it does fold flat to go into an envelope. So that's my card. I hope you enjoyed watching me make the alcohol inked background and that you have a play yourself. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.